Today, I want to talk about the story of Broken Human, a man who is well known in the history of Zambia. And the discoverer was Tom Zwigler from Switzerland. When the skull of Broken Human was discovered, there was a request that it should be taken to Britain for further analysis and testing so that they can identify the force hue and a certain way it belongs. When I was in grade nine, I learned about broken human, and I didn't have an opportunity to travel to Lusaka City, which is the capital of Zambia, because I was a pupil in Petauke. 2008, I had an opportunity to uh, enter the museum, and I, you know, checked the skull of broken human. It was there, and the tour guide who was there told me that the skull was a replica, the original one. Uh, was taken to Britain for, um, yeah. Now, I wasn't happy, you know. I asked him, like, when is it coming? Saying, well, it's a political situation. So from that time, I thought, when I have an opportunity to present to the world about the return of the scar of broken human, I'll do it. We want broken human back to Zambia. We need it. It belongs to the Zambian people. It doesn't belong to the British people. It doesn't belong to the rest of human beings as it was claimed by the British government when the Zambian government officially made a request. Post your messages. We want this message to reach the British Prime Minister. We need the trophy of broken human. We need the skull of broken human. We need the cranium of broken human. It belongs to the Zambian people. It's a rich heritage of the Zambian people. It belongs to the historical heritage of the Zambian people. 